Now, and of course, today is a very big day when it comes to the vote on gun reform. The U.S. Senate will be voting, and we're joined by Senator Richard Blumenthal on the phone. Yes, good morning, Senator. And uh, this seems like uh, neither side is really all that confident or at least cocky about this uh, passing today. What do you think? I'm very hopeful, and we are using these final hours for a full court press in support of common sense, gun reform, and gun safety. We are pressing for a compromised version of the national background check that would keep guns out of the hands of dangerous criminals and mentally ill and strengthen school safety. Other measures like the assault weapons ban and the ban on high capacity magazines also will be offered. I'll be spearheading the ban on high capacity magazines on behalf of the Senate supporters along with Chris Murphy, my colleague, and others. So it will be a dramatic, probably about eight votes, beginning at 4 o'clock today. Senator Blumenthal, President Obama talked about 90% of the country supports these expanded background checks, and yet this vote is still in question today. Can you explain to people why this might not pass? I'm perplexed and actually vexed and angry about the disconnect apparently between the American people, that 90% who favor the common sense measures that we propose, and the members of the Senate who have not yet come around to that point of view. My hope is that the 90% will prevail. Remember that we're talking about very moderate and sensible measures that very simply require that all people who buy firearms be subject to a background check that determines whether they are convicted felons or criminals, have a history of severe mental illness so that they've been committed, or domestic abuse. And that kind of very sensible check, along with the ban on illegal trafficking and straw purchases and strengthening school safety seem eminently sensible. So the disconnect, I think, is because certain special interests, like the NRA, have imposed a stranglehold. Traditionally, in fact, for decades, they have dominated the debate out in states, particularly western states, where they have members who feel very vehemently and have been very vocal. Senator, and the question is whether that Senator, the American sir, vocal minority can determine the outcome. Sorry to cut you off there. Uh, we, uh, we're, we have to go uh, move along for the moment. Uh, perhaps we can chat with you more next hour. We hope to do so. Thank you very much for your time, Senator Richard Blumenthal. Thanks for Good calling morning. in this morning.